Welcome back friends. Today we are out kayaking on the beautiful Emerald Lake here in British Columbia. Our time through Banff has ended. We've been at van life for a whole week now, which is so crazy. It's just flown by so quick. We've seen so many beautiful spots. We got to spend so, do so many fun things in Banff. Um, and now the venture continues. Uh, so today we're kayaking this lake. Nadia made us some sandwiches, as seems to be a usual kayaking routine. Um, I'm super thankful for that. Although I have to blow this dang thing up and I didn't do a great job. I mean, we're holding air, but just, just barely. Day two, second day on the kayak and it's already starting to sink on us a little bit. Um, but yeah, we got a camp spot for tonight. We are in desperate need of a shower. We only showered once last week when we went to the hot springs, um, which was really, really nice and refreshing. But so we got a campsite tonight. We're gonna have a fire tonight. We're gonna go check out the second tallest waterfall in Canada. So that's really exciting. Get all cleaned up, have a nice shower. And then tomorrow we are headed to the famous Lake Louise. We're gonna go kayak out there, go check out the stunning views and go spend our day on the water. So back to back kayak days for us. And then who knows what we have in store for the rest of the week, but there's only wanted to find out and that's the stick around to the end of the video but let's check in with nadia nad how are you doing today oh hi should i jump right in a few moments later three two one <laughs> Woo! how is it oh, so nice so nice Cannonball! Woo. That was awesome. A little cold, but not the coldest water I've felt. But just swimming in that green, green water was so good. So refreshing. Might not even need to take the shower today at the campsite, because that was pretty good right there. Just gotta bring your shampoo and a bit of soap and uh, nature's shower awaits, nature's bathtub. Although it's at a cool 15 degrees instead of a nice 40 that I'd prefer. But we made it to the other side of the lake. Um, just came out here to cliff jump. I saw this little spot and thought it'd be perfect and it sure was. But now I think it's time to hop back in the kayak and make it back to the other side. How are you doing? Oh, most of the work. Kayaking is fun if you don't have to paddle. See, I'm having so much fun. Oh, I'm having fun too. Feeling very refreshed after that jump into the water. Yeah, I do. Was well worth it. Glad we spotted that. Mm hmm I'm always down for a good cliff jump. It's so refreshing. The water is at a really nice temperature. The sun was still out. Not anymore. Yeah, the water is surprisingly not freezing. I think we've just been in so much cold water lately <laughs> that, yeah. that even like a cold still feels nice. <laughs> Well, we made it back from Emerald Lake. It was absolutely stunning out there. Cliff jumping was so sick. When you see a spot at the end of the lake and you just hop in the kayak and paddle out there and it ends up being super promising. Can't ask for anything better than that. The water was decently nice and we ended up here at the campground. We didn't go to the falls today because we spent so long at the lake and uh, just showered. That's why I got my hair down all drying and stuff. We're gonna have a campfire here tonight. There's a little show going on at the theater in about an hour. So if we can get some dinner crushed by then, maybe go see what that's all about. But all in all, a pretty solid day. So tomorrow we're gonna check out those falls for sure. And then probably make our way to Lake Louise and go see what that's all about. It's just absolutely stunning there. I can't wait to go maybe kayak it, check out Moraine Lake as well. And then from there, who knows, that's about as far as we've got planned so far. It's funny, as we were leaving the lake, I was so excited to come to this campground, one, to get a shower in because it's been a few days, two, to have a campfire, but then also just not to have to worry about where we're sleeping for the night. That is always a concern and it lingers with me all night long, is worrying about someone coming knocking on the door, especially in national parks, because you're not allowed to just camp there anywhere. So you gotta be really sneaky about the spots that you find if you do wanna camp on the side of the road or just pull over somewhere for a night so I feel so relaxed being in the campground it was well worth the $40 or whatever so we can have a fire have a clean shower have peace of mind for the night and feel so refreshed for our day tomorrow so next order of business is to get some dinner going and start up a fire can't wait
Now, with this campsite, you have to pay $9 for a fire permit, but they give you free wood, which is so sick. So I loaded up the side of the truck here with a ton of wood and we're gonna have a great fire tonight and maybe we'll take some with us on the road because I stole some wood from my dad's house. But it's always nice to be able to have a little campfire no matter where you are. Okay, we got some kindling chopped. I got a nice London drugs flyer here that'll help get us going. And uh, oh, some deals on cameras. Oh, not too shabby. Now, I personally like to go for the TP strategy myself. If you got any others, let me know. Like I'm a proper outdoorsy guy. Although I like to consider myself pretty outdoorsy. I don't know if I could full on survive in the wilderness on my own, but uh, I could get by for maybe a month. Well, I don't know. What do you eat? <laughs> Better off not saying that because next thing I know the truck will break down and I'll be stuck surviving in the wilderness on my own. No good. <clears throat> Whoops. Oh no, <laughs> I broke it all. Okay, let's put a lighter to it and see what happens. It's kind of scuffed. There's too much wood on here. All of it toppled over. But the nice thing is if it doesn't work the first time, I'll just do it again and you'll never see this footage. So that's great. Okay, moment of truth. All right, here we go. The paper's burning. But while the wood catch, let's see. There we go. And just like that, we have got some fire. We're all set for the night. While this burns a little hotter, I will pull out the lawn chairs and uh, I think we should get started on some dinner. I think Nad's gonna get that going here right away. The sun should be setting pretty soon. We might have a show to attend if we make it. And then uh, I'm excited to just hang out under the stars, although the stars aren't totally there. Just a lot of treetops up there. But yeah, just hang out in the wilderness overnight. There's a lot of wildlife out here. Apparently there's bears in the area. I'd love to see a bear on this trip. From a distance, of course. It sounds like the show is about to start. Let's go check it out, see what it's all about. I'll let that fire get going a little bit better. Lucky enough, it's right beside our spot. So that's an example of something you can share as much as you like. Uh, or as little as you like. Would you guys like to like to start? Where about are you from? Just yeah, and share like where what you, what's a place that you find special. There was a little bit of crowd involvement. He wanted everybody to say where they're from and what they like about the area. And I don't like doing crowd involvement. Even though I may do YouTube and make videos and uh, and talk to you guys like this. I'm a pretty shy person to be honest and uh, that's just that's just not really my thing. Although I'm sure it's fun. It's something I'm trying to work on become more uh a, a little more social in situations like that but uh i like i like just hanging out by my campfire personally that's more of my style so i'll keep stocking some more wood on this and uh and, and i gotta make some dinner soon i swear i wasn't recording the first time so we'll do this again <laughs> nadia has prepared for us a lovely pasta and some green beans on the side while i have prepared prepared a smoky fire it's not my fault though the wood's a little bit wet and we already opened our drinks but we can do this cheers now, as I was saying, mm. <laughs> it feels so fake. It's actually so fire. The garlic <laughs> in it is just punching through. Mm -hmm. Big, big fan. All right, I'm gonna enjoy this all to myself though. Well, us together. Good morning, friends. Uh, we are at Takakao or something like that. Falls. Uh, we, we just left the campground this morning. Uh, it was a lovely, lovely night. We had a, a big roaring fire, which was great. 
Um, slept so well, I can see the stars, I did some stretching out there. Really nice evening, made some s'mores. <laughs> Nadia's getting better at roasting marshmallows slowly. I think we went one for four last night on marshmallow roasting. So we're, we're getting there. But yeah, today we are going to check out the falls. I think this is like the second tallest waterfall in Canada, something like that. Um, I can see it from here and it looks pretty towering. But let's go see what it looks like from the base. Hopefully a little bit of wet, cold, misty water and air will, will wake me up because I don't do very well in the mornings. So let's go to this fall. <laughs> Takakao is translated from the Cree language to mean magnificent, and I can see why they call these magnificent falls. At 375 meters, they are the second tallest waterfall in Canada. And on top of being magnificent, they're also soaking wet. I'm constantly having to wipe my sunglasses off, wipe off my face, and wipe off this camera lens. Because every time the wind picks up, it blows right down this valley. An insane gust of wind and with this really, really cool air accompanied by a little bit of moisture. But I think it's time to get out of here because I am getting absolutely soaked. So let's make our way back down the trailhead. And I think we're going to go sneak back into that campground we stayed at and go get another shower today because I don't want to have to wait three days to shower again. So we'll meet you there. Okay, we have shaved, we have showered, and we are now at lake louise just a little walk down to the lake and we should be good to go hopefully we can figure out how to get to lake moraine moraine lake because uh it's closed as well so the road up there's closed so there's a shuttle or something we're gonna have to go find it let's see what's good hi folks we made it to lake louise but oh yeah i was gonna say waterton no it is lake louise that's right <laughs> Yeah, but, okay, I'll take it, but there's so many people here. I hate the crowds. I want the, the lake all to myself. Yeah. We gotta share, gotta <laughs> practice sharing. We're gonna go to Lake Moraine, but there's no uh, shuttle available for us. Yeah, the shuttle was fully booked, so we can't go there and the road's closed, can't drive. So we got Lake Louise, which is pretty decent, honestly. Yeah, it's amazing. Good morning friends, so it is the next day. We wrapped up our day at Lake Louise and I wasn't feeling too great. I was a little like low energy um, and I have this package that I've been waiting for here in Banff. So we drove back to Banff after our day at Lake Louise and I'm waiting on a part for my truck. So we're gonna walk down to the post office to go get that and hopefully I can sort out these truck issues that I've been having. Another thing about doing van life is you're always gotta be fixing something, whether it's in the camper or on the truck. Uh, there's always a little bit of maintenance that can be done. So I just try to keep up with all the constant um, constant maintenance that needs to be done. So yeah, the next step is to go get uh, this, this package that I've been waiting for from the post office here in Banff. And then I think we're gonna head down towards Invermere, although there are a ton of wildfires in the area, uh, especially down in Cranbrook in BC. So I don't know it, what it's gonna be like. It might be pretty smoky along there, um, but that's that's the way we're gonna go. So the, the smoke and fire levels might determine how long we spend around there. Um, most of Western Canada, BC and Alberta are all covered with wildfires right now. Um, it, they're pretty hard to escape, so it gets smoky in the evening as the wind blows all the smoke um, throughout the country and to where we are. So I don't think there's really anything we can do about that. We just gotta go brave through it. Although uh, you can feel the smoke starts to take an effect on your lungs. So gonna try to avoid that as much as possible. But yeah, let's go get this part from the post office and put it in the truck and hopefully it starts and runs a little bit better after that. Alrighty, I've got the part. Let's open up the truck hood and, uh, and toss it in. Here we go. The old one's out, time to put the new one in. It 
fits. I ordered one of these like a year and a half ago and it was the wrong size. So finally, I got the right one. Okay, and that should be it all installed. So it's that brand new little silver guy right there. And that just regulates the oil pressure of the truck. Um, make sure that the injectors gets all the fuel it needs and pushes oil through there. So hopefully that sorts out the reason the truck's been having trouble starting and running a little funny. Only one way to find out and that's to fire it up though. Woo! The truck runs, runs way better, started first time. So that part seemed to do the trick. Uh, that's, that's awesome, that's really good. I was worried about killing my batteries trying to start this thing. So it was so challenging, but we're good now. I think we're gonna go park up in the lake. I might do a little bit of work, edit some YouTube videos, edit some vlogs. Now you'll hang out, do some journaling, maybe go for a swim. And then we're gonna start heading down towards Cranbrook through BC this evening. The skies currently don't look too smoky, so hopefully we can avoid the smoke. But I'm so stoked on this truck. That is so exciting. We'll see you at the lake. We are here just outside of Radium Hot Springs in BC. We did go to the lake. I didn't even make it down. Nadia went and spent some time down there. I ended up just doing a little bit of working, editing last week's vlog, working on some YouTube stuff. And we are parked in a place where it's just us. I mean, there is nobody else around. And there's a big fire burning up here, uh, but there's tons of trails through the mountains. So we're gonna hop on the motorbike and go rip through these trails and hopefully find something cool. Maybe we can like see the source of this fire or something. I don't know, let's go for a ride and see what we get. Our motorbike journey led us to Pink Lake. I'm not sure if you can tell from here, but the edge of it has like this weird little pink look to it. And then it's like kind of white. It kind of smells like sulfur. Yeah, it's almost like crunchy snow. It's super weird. I've never seen anything like it. I don't know what it could be. And in the background here, you can see, maybe you can see, we are so close to this fire right there. All the smoke billowing up into the sky. That's pretty close to us. Um, That's concerning. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we're okay for the night, but uh, don't know. The mosquitoes are also pretty bad out here, but we're gonna hop back on the bike and uh, keep cruising and see what else we can find. We might just end up back at camp, who knows? Good afternoon. We stayed the night just outside of Radium Hot Springs, literally in the middle of the mountains. Uh, and we went for another motorbike ride today, but we absolutely got so stuck on this giant hill. We tried making it up, but it was so rocky and so rutted out from the water flowing through that we just did not make it. So we're here airing out, got a little sweaty in the process. Yeah, I knew it wasn't a good idea. Our camp spot last night was absolutely amazing. We are just like 10 minutes outside of Radium, but in the middle of the forest, this spot is so beautiful. It was so peaceful and it's all free camping. So we don't have to worry about anybody coming and kicking us out. It's crown land, so we're allowed to be here. The only downside is that there's no fires right now, but if you just look far enough in the distance, you can spot the wildfires. So I think we're gonna spend one more night here because the spot's just too good not to take full advantage of it. And then we'll head into Invermere tomorrow, maybe go hang out on the lake for the day. But we gotta try to get this bike back home safely. We've already been stuck twice, so fingers <laughs> crossed we make it back all right. That hill doesn't look too steep, but trust me, it is. Well, we made it back to our campsite safely after that long motorbike ride, but it didn't come without its troubles. We ended up getting the motorbike stuck in a little bit of mud and my license plate ripped off. So in this muddy mess, I had to reattach it back to the motorbike, which was just a nightmare. And then later that night, we went for another ride and I saw this nice little hill. And Natty was like, oh, let's go climb it. Um, just kind of jokingly. And I was like, oh, well, let's test it out. So she hopped off the bike and I just wanted to take the bike up it a little bit just to see how steep it was and test out if we could make it. There was like a 3% chance that I was actually gonna do it. But as I started riding up the hill a little bit, um, the bike is so tall. It's like 35 inches off the ground and I couldn't get my left foot down to plant and the brake is on the right foot. And so I'd use my right foot to balance and so I had no brakes sliding back down this hill backwards. And well, you can see what happens next. Oh. 
Unfortunately, Nadia did stop recording to come help, but all was well. I made it out without any scrapes or bruises, which was really, really nice. But I gotta say, I absolutely love this camping spot. Just being submersed in nature makes me feel so at home and so at ease. There's no distractions around, there's no people coming and bothering you, and I actually really, really enjoy that. I'm still working on trying to slow everything down and really take in the moment because with van life, you're just always on the go, always searching for a new spot, and so when you are somewhere and settled for a little bit, it's nice to just hang out. We might actually end up spending another night here before we head down towards Invermere, Cranbrook, and into Creston, but I think that will all be for next week's video. This journey for us this past couple weeks has been so much fun, but also quite challenging. Although you're still just living and doing your regular things, it's totally different when you're doing it in such a confined space and all that you really have is the outdoor elements to work with. So even though we're only two weeks into this journey, I feel like we're really just getting started and getting fully acquainted with how to live in this dang trek. But the adventures are just starting for us. We still have quite the journey left as we make our way all the way across Western Canada and towards Vancouver. Vancouver and make it to the ocean. That's our final destination before we head down and go see Blackpink in concert in the US. So if you wanna follow along with this journey, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel down below. Hit the little bell icon so that you get notified every time we post a brand new video. And as I mentioned in the previous video, if you've ever thought about taking up meditation or wanna start, I'd highly suggest using Headspace. I still continue to meditate every single day while we're out here and Headspace was how I got started with my journey. So if you wanna check it out and start a free trial, there's a link in the description down below that will take you over there. This isn't a sponsored video or anything, but every time you sign up, I get a small commission um, just when you sign up for the free trial. So if you wanna help support me and the channel and allow me to continue making these videos and these vlogs, which I've been having so much fun doing, feel free to check out Headspace. It's totally free to join and it seriously could change your life more than you even know. But I think our next order of business is to probably head into town and go get a shower because it has been a few days and start shooting for next week's vlog, which I'm so excited for. So until the next one, make sure that you have a great rest of your day, great rest of your week, and we'll catch you on the next video. Peace.